Well, welcome back to Steve Rob Reviews. Today, I'm out in the shop and I'm working on a little bit of a project here and I thought, you know what, I'll bring you guys along. You'll probably get a good kick out of uh, what I'm doing here. And uh, I'll just show you some of the parts. And uh, guys, this is a, an old brake uh, clean can. Yeah, I saved them. And this is an old screwdriver and the tip broke off. If you can see in there, yeah, I fired in a screw. I threaded this, just jammed her in there. What else we got going on? Yeah, I used some uh, epoxy, two piece epoxy. And I got this uh, old pipe here. I'm going to fire that on with the welder. A couple of ticky tacky. I got this old steel plate hanging around for a long time. I'm going to weld it to it. And what else we got here? Yeah, here's the can. They're very easy to get the lids off. You just kind of pierce it at the end there and then just use your needle nose and just work it all the way around. It just opens up so easily. So what am I building here today? Well, I'll tell you what. I had a can this big before up in my hunting camp. Because three of the fellas that come up, they smoke. And I had made a, a can out of an old popcorn container. I don't know if you ever got them before. They're like a metal can with a lid on and you get three bags of popcorn in there. Well, all I did was I put a little bit of a soup can on top with a hole on top and then they just dropped the uh, cigarette butts in there. And I think that lasted me for about 10 years. Well, it was way too big and it was too clumsy and it was all starting to rot to pieces. So this is actually gonna be for cigarette butts. So you just grab the handle, put your cigarette butt in there, and that's what she's going to be. And <laughs> it's going to be nice and heavy. And uh, have a couple of these here. Now I'm going to show you what this is for, and I use this quite often. This is just your, uh, I guess it's ABS or plastic conduit. I use this for a lot of stuff like this. And this is all a repurposed project. So, how about if I just show you, we'll go over to the bench here, I'll just uh, get the welder out and we'll weld that, uh, that base to the tube and then I'm going to show you how I make these and we'll put this all together. You guys let me know what you think. Okay, you ready? I'm just going to uh, just put probably two tacks on. I'll just tack it front and back and then I'll, I'll tack her up good. Okay, so now I'll tack her up real good. Okay, there we go. Okay, this is it right here, and uh, it's nothing fancy, guys. I didn't want to put the welds all the way around. This is going on my deck, and uh, if water does go in there, at least it'll kind of seep out the bottom, and you know that's no problem. And this is an easy enough thing you can just pick up and just dump out any you know anytime you want. So that's that part there. Now. I'm going to show you how I make these. These here take me about uh, 30 seconds to make and I'll show you what they're for. I got one set up on the bench here. All you do is just draw a straight line on it and uh, I'll show you what else we do. Okay, so I've got it in the vise here and I'll just show you. I just take a flat piece of metal like this and I just hold it from below and I make sure that it's completely level across the top here because we're using a router. Yes, we're going to use the router, and this here is, uh, I believe it is quarter inch, and that plate steel is a little bit more than five sixteenths. It's metric anyway, so it's a weird shape, but it'll have lots of flexibility with, uh, with this slot that you can actually use a quarter inch for all the way up to three eighths if you want. So I'll show you how this is done and how easy it is. Okay, I'll try to get you zoomed in there as good as I can. 
and uh, I'm going to be cutting this backwards actually, so you'll it'll be coming towards me. And let's just get started here. Okay, I'll show you what that looks like. I'm uh, just freewheeling it. It doesn't take long. Take it out of the vise. It does make a lot of mess though. And that's just the, the slot there. And this one right here. And I'll show you exactly what they're for. Okay, you ready? We're just going to fire these on. You just guys let me know what you think. They go on quite easily. And we'll just center them up. And that's it right there. Now what's the purpose of this? Well, I'll tell you something. If I were to try and stick this on my deck, it would just rot the deck right out because the moisture would just stay on the bottom here and uh, guys it would be no good plus many times in the fall uh, you know it's raining all the time and uh, you know it, it's just going to be a, a pain to try and even move if it even freezes in there so this way here it sits on the deck it's on plastic the plastic doesn't rot your deck out or anything like that very easy to put on they won't come off and uh, There she is right there. So, you know, when you think about it, you know, this only take me maybe out in the garage, including filming, maybe 20 minutes, guys, half an hour tops, and you've got a little easy project like this, and I'll probably get some spray paint and spray it up when, you know, the weather gets nice. And you can put a lot of cigarette butts in there, I imagine. So thanks for joining me here today. Hope you found this a little bit interesting. <laughs> cigarette butt holder and you know what this was all from scrap pieces I had sitting around and the guys are gonna love it so you guys come back again and take a look at this in the future you'll see it up in my camp on my deck and uh, if you've never seen this channel before you're welcome to subscribe and watch me make some crazy stuff like this cheers